Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Understand fear as I have. One and we're back with a new Let's Play. This is a game that I have played before, so it's not going to be entirely blind. But, even though I'm sick, we're going to be taking a little bit of a break from Resident Evil 4 because I got way too sick and tired of playing that game for a little bit. So, let's start game. Memory card. I previously completed the following alignments. Would you like to carry this information over to a new game? I already have completed it with a little tough. I know I've completed it with all of them, but I guess I don't have that save file anymore. Anyway, this is a new game. Uh, no! Fresh game! <coughs> Flesh. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical Hair. incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. Well, maybe you should get this that This is not then. my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story but of the humanity. main characters are Roivas. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. Because the magic grow restless. And Cthulhu is very, very very Lovecraftian. Near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path. Also, I might sound a little and weird. I'm actually take quite kindly sick. to it. <coughs> their attention turns to my granddaughter. Drugs right now. For she is the last of my life. <laughs> And the last hope for humanity. Well, humanity's fucked. Well, doesn't she look cute? Oh dear balls, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? How do I- There we go, that's how I do the thing. Oh shit! I don't know how to run. Back away from me. Uh... Boom! I've got a shotty gun. 
that how I do it? Maybe? I'm just guessing, I don't know how to play this game! This is 3.33 in the morning. <coughs> Hello? Miss Alexandra Roy. I recognize her um, voice actor, yeah, but I can't remember this? from where. This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident. With really? Oh, great. I'll be on the next flight out. She just hangs up. She doesn't even ask what happened. Random stuff on a police scout. Ah, Miss Roivas, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you. Very typical detective. It's very typical. Um, yes, I suppose so. Considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Is he hitting Can on me? Over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. What's not a pleasant sight? I'm afraid there's not much to see. <laughs> Worst detective ever. <laughs> How long did Mr. it take for her to fly over to Rhode Island? Is they that just left the body. <laughs> yes, it's him. <laughs> He's wearing our family ring. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, boy. Why are you showing me this? Exactly! You demo records or something? What is wrong with you? It's like, why didn't you move the body when you showed me? I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only Your job is to leave dead no, bodies? we can't check dental records. There's no head. No, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the You're force. showing a civilian a giant no blood-covered dead body. You sure they clean up the body? And what's left? Try and identify it. Or something else before they show the last surviving member you of the family a headless corpse! <coughs> I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. I don't like this voice acting. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police. I'll say. Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murder, it would be here. Okay, so that's my attack button. Give me a second. Uh, that's my ready button. Okay. <coughs> that's a sneaky button. And that's my run button. Good to know. Uh, yes. Door is locked. I punch the doors to tell if they are locked or not. Uh... Beautiful carriage clock is probably set to 33, 3.33. Skin the back of the clock, assuming for wanting it. Should look at the key? Yes. Wait, what? Oh, wrong button. <coughs> I got a dresser key. Yay! Let's go take a look at a dead body. <coughs> See, I can do that too, game. What is this? Nothing. I'm gonna punch your bookshelves. I'm very angry at them. She's gonna have fists of fury by the end of this. Okay, if I remember correctly, we don't really need this room just yet. Nope. Mental piece. Well, I'm kind of the Roy's family tree hangs on the wall. Blah 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 blah. Here. 
Grandpapa? No. Seven. There's, yes. Is it three thirty? Yeah! It's always 333. <coughs> oh, hey, look, it's a secret passage. I honestly couldn't remember that because it's been years since I played this game, but you see 333 everywhere else. It's obviously 333. <coughs> oh, hey, look, a secret study. Oh, hey, look, it's the Necronomicon. <laughs> Give it. A gladius! Pick it up. Take it. Yes, I have a gladius. Do, 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 do. Detail. Should Alex read the book? Probably not, but we're going to anyway. <coughs> Good thing I have a bunch of water here. Om nom 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 nom. Alex, I want to eat your face. Well then. I had no knowledge of what was to come. Sure, keep reading Nor did after I care. that. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. <sighs> as you read this, you will come to learn fear as I Wait, have. Wait, did her grandfather me just write the ne entire Necronomicon? Will come to understand, or you will perish. It's not the actual Necronomicon, it's the Tome of Eternal Darkness, but I'm just going to keep calling to it the think Necronomicon. That once I could not see <clears throat> beyond the veil of our reality. That rhymed. To see those kind of. who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. Okay. I was once a fool. I'm pretty sure the grandpa's talking about this dude. <laughs> Where is Quies Kandamest? I do not speak Christ's moon language. Please speak English. Sakusatis aquae sumat. Et animus eorum conferna. I don't understand your crazy good language! Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. I would like to compliment you once more. Oh, thank God! <laughs> Our enemies did not have a chance. Do you Our believe not have a that chance. it really exists, Centurion? Yes! I, do not doubt I don't know what it is. Stop playing the pronoun game. Or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong. And patient. Cool. Nice Lorica segmentata, actually. And for those who don't know what that is, that's the armor that he's wearing. At least the chest piece, I think. I can't remember what the name of that style of helmet is, but I do remember that the chest plate and the shoulder things are called Lorica segmentata. Because you should follow horrible sounding voices in the middle of the goddamn desert. Come to us. And this is where he does something stupid and gets bowed. Phone. Well, somebody's not the brightest tool in the shed. Pretty armor, though. Okay, I am now. I am now the stupid Roman. Cool. Rawr. Okay, sorry guys, just trying to make sure I can remember how to do this. Okay. Oh, he's tired now. Yeah, there's actually a stamina mechanic. <coughs> I think he got tired. Okay, come on, stand up. Let's go down the thing. Danger always bleeds. It pirates courage. The solve does not buckle. It's trying to climb the ladder. Yes. It's a box. Cool. How did he know that they were going to get up? Uh uh. No, 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 no. Call a bullcrap on that. Oh my god.
Yeah, you can target different parts of their bodies, so. Come here, you bastard! See, if you take out their arms and their head, then they're pretty much bone. Finish him! Wah! You have been pious. Oh, bull crud. Shit! We gotta play this game! Oh! I, I know how to play- Actually, I don't know how to play this game, but... Uh, no, I want to... There we go! And... Other arm. There we go. Yeah, I'm allowed their heads they can't see, so they're not gonna chase after you, at least not very effectively. Bonk. Examine! There's a granite block on the floor. Pick up the granite block! <coughs> and finish him! Hello! Good. Apparently they can't step on the thing. Bog. I'm not gonna worry about killing them unless I have to. Oh, I'm just gonna stand there. Oh, I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Ow. Okay, he got me. You pissed me off. Hello. Snap. His arms are longer than mine. Okay. I'm still even writhing on the floor because I'm mean. On words. Oh hi! I <laughs> wanted to cough, but then stuff. <sighs> Hello. Ah, uh, yes, I'll take a box. Good thing that they just, you know, ignored me. Climb down. Oh hi there. Bog. 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 Uh, bog. Bog. Okay, fine. He gets to keep his arm. Fires! See, I can do that too. Okay. Okay. I do not have that other one. Detail. Uh, which one was it? It's the green one. Use that. <coughs> and red one. Use the granite block with the Cthulian symbol on it. And use the granite block with the Cthulian symbol on it. Now I just need one more, I think. Hi, guys. I need this. Give me a second. Oh. <coughs> Good thing it happens to be in the room that I'm currently standing in. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. I'm trying not to. Yay! Let's go over here. Bye bye guys. I am through with you. Make sure there wasn't anything else. Oh balls. Not stay for me. Is that not stay away? Not stay away. We're gonna get you cause we're zombies. Except we're not because we're also zombies and zombies are morons. Oh hi dear. That is a statue of me! Pius, you must prove your worth by destroying this statue that looks just like you. Yeah, it's supposed to be a targeting thing. Bonk! 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 I don't know why I'm proof. Well, I do know why I'm proving my worth. I've played this game before, but. Oh, hi! Uh, push the button? Yes! I don't know what it does, but let's push it! Okay, 
Okay. Let's go stay away. Sure, let's take the very sketchy portal symbol for me. Oh, hi! So yeah, we need to choose one of these. The game isn't too much different. Well, it is kind of a little bit different. And once you do all three of them in three separate playthroughs on the same file, you get the best ending. Or, well, secret ending. We're probably not going to get that, because I'm not going to play through this game three times. Maybe in the off-screen I'll record the ending for you guys, but let's do this one! Effigy resembling a warped angel shaped from green emerald hovers effortlessly above the pedestal. Claim the artifact, yes! Because this isn't going to end horribly. You're not supposed to touch it! You're not supposed to touch it! He touched it. Never touch an artifact barehanded. <coughs> it is quite bad for you to touch an artifact barehanded. Okay. And now he's a Skeletor. Also, his Lorca Segmentata has completely changed. It's not shiny anymore, it's all black. Eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. I was once as naive as a child, but now my mind is sharp. With the power of okay. Zelototh, I can yep, now read Zalatoth. the thoughts of others. It's Chaturga, and make them rave mad with a and mere suggestion. Zalatoth. Face me, and you shall surely perish. Probably not. <coughs> <coughs> I got the Toe of Eternal Darkness. Okay. So yeah, Zelototh is the sanity one, and I chose that one specifically so I can lose sanity constantly so you can see all the lovely sanity effects in this game. Binding of the Corpse God. Use. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. Okay. <laughs> so perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George yeah, Fraser's be... book, The Golden Bough. Okay. A study in magic and religion. Plug. Um, we are overwhelmed by it's a very jump around a lot. to weave a web of meaning the past, the where there the may past. be none. <laughs> Since time immemorial, <coughs> ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered okay. that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Da da da! Thy time is done, great ancient. Where did she get Whatever the dog of eternal darkness? Be master of chaos, and to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of flesh and bone. Earth. You have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity. That no one will ever recognize it. Wait a minute, isn't this just happening? May the darkness claim thee, holy chaos and damn beast. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients. You have kept imprisoned. <laughs> Thou hast seen the last of this world. Okay. I mean, I know what he's doing, but... Why did they leave those pillars around? Just specifically to stab the god that was here? Maybe they should have left that out of the construction. Probably would have helped. Not even these mythical fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. Famous last words, honey. Famous last words. purpose could have <coughs> for me. Again, famous last words. And of course, it goes behind her. Anyway, that is it for this video. My name is Miss Guy Tinger, and I have been playing some Eternal Darkness. And I'll see you all in the next video.